The information of this video should be used as a helpful guide for general purposes. Please ensure that all appropriate details and specifications for the job are followed, and that the work complies with the building code and all other regulations and manufacturer's instructions. This video is presented by Amasco Minerals Incorporated, proudly celebrating 45 years in the business. In the previous video you learned how to properly inspect a job site, how to properly hang paper, and how to correctly hang wire. In this next video, you will learn how to properly mix the base coat. The correct ingredients are vital to mixing a proper base coat. Before mixing, ensure that you have code compliant sand, clean potable water, lime type S or N, normal Portland cement. Make sure that all the components are code compliant and the sand is washed and graded to the correct sizes. If the sand grain is too fine, it creates a weak mix. If it is too coarse, it's difficult to work with. Properly testing in an accredited lab is best. If you're concerned or not sure, try this simple test to see if your sand is washed. Take a cup. Clear is better. Put some sand in and add one to two inches of water above sand. Stir, watch, and wait. Put the cup in a safe place. Wait approximately 30 minutes. If water is very cloudy, turns a very dark color, or has a lot of debris floating, for example scum, foam, or coal, you have poor quality sand and may need to reject it, or at minimum have it tested properly. If after settling, the water is a light tan with minimal floating sediment, your sand is probably well washed and you're ready to go. Washed plaster sand is not expensive, Washing and properly grading is easy to do. Demand good quality sand. It's the highest volume ingredient. Make sure the water is clean and potable and make sure the lime is type S or N. Ensure that the cement and lime have been delivered in undamaged and fresh bags. If the bags have been damaged or opened, it will most likely have too many lumps in it, causing it to be unmixable. In colder climates, Check to make sure that the sand is not frozen, particularly inside the pile. If all of the ingredients meet these requirements, then it's time to mix. The proper mix design by volume, according to the National Building Code of Canada, is as follows. 3.25 to 4 parts sand, 1 part Portland cement, 0.25 to 1 part lime, 19 to 23 liters, or 5 to 6 gallons of water, a five gallon plastic pail filled to two inches below the rim is equal to approximately 19 liters. First add 50% to 75% of the water, then add half of the required sand, the cement, and the hydrated lime. Gradually add the remaining sand and water. Maintain proper consistency and do not over mix. Mix for approximately three to five minutes. Only mix enough material that can be used up within a reasonable period of time, approximately 30 minutes, and not have to be retempered. Retempering will weaken the mix and results will be excessive cracking, increased porosity, and higher risk of efflorescence. It's very important to be consistent from batch to batch and make sure that the same quantities are used it's helpful to measure the sand and water. A properly proportioned mixture results in easy troweling, adhesion to bases, and resistance to sagging.